Well, little Boogie is certainly keeping everybody on the runaround, uh, prolonging his integration as long as possible. I don't know why, I don't know what's in this little one's mind, but he just doesn't want to go out. So we've got Poppy and uh oh, just in the center with uh, Helen, Felix. So uh, we're trying to see if Boogie is willing to run over to them as there's not many other monkeys around. So it is a good opportunity. Unfortunately, Penelope's decided to park in front of the door. Yeah, go ahead. If they switch, it's fine. I uh, just keep open. Yeah. So we've got Dotty and Penelope and Nye. Patchwork again. And just outside the door we have Josh and they've gone. So we're trying to leave the door open as much as possible but obviously we don't want all the monkeys just running inside. So it's quite difficult. We have to be very patient. A little quick update. We have Boogie here inside. We did try to let him out with uh oh. Uh, but unfortunately he didn't follow her into the troop, so Otto's now out uh, in the enclosure. Uh, we've had a couple of chances where Boogie could have gone out and ran over to them. Uh, but he's still a little nervous. Um, so we've had a few monkeys inside at the minute. Um, so we're here at Boogie release attempt number three, Monday morning. And uh, we've got all the ba the other babies, plus Lola Bean, uh, in the feeding cage drinking milk. Lola Bean's just outside, actually, in the centre now. But Felix and Helen having a drink. We've also got Spirit here, Josh, and we've got Ricky and Denford. So at the minute, Patchwork sitting outside the door. So we're just going to wait to get a chance. Once uh oh and Boogie are beside the door, we're just gonna go ahead. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, Boogie. Uh, yeah, uh, well, when, when Boogie comes round again, you can try and open it just enough to let uh oh out. I don't really want Poppy inside. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Or just let her in, just let her in. Oh. Ah, that's difficult. Oh, of course they'll run away now. So I've started recording because Boogie is about to go out. Positive vibes. It's treasure. Yeah, I think this is good because even if he goes up and like starts to like reach through it and stick his head through it a little bit. Even just to interact with them, it's good. Oh, yeah, leave it up. Oh. Just let Dolly in. Go. Go, Bex. Can I go? Go, Bex.
Yeah, just just close it to try and get him to go away. There you go. No, I just yeah. I just, oh. No, I just close. Is the males tend to not hang about too long. Okay, go ahead. Super frustrating. We are back at the Gizmo intro cage for Boogie's release round two, three, four, five, six. Um, we are hoping he will go out today. The weather is glorious. Boogie is ready. He's bouncy. He is covered in his purple dye. The integration team are just preparing the milks. So you've got Rennie just here. Did you think he'll go out today? Hope so. Really hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got Victoria here. Do you think you'll go out today? I have good hopes. <laughs> okay, good. Well, Bugs, this is all on you. I would say it's all on Uh Oh, but Uh Oh knows the drill. She knows exactly what to do when the door opens. She just hasn't taught her son how to do that. Last year's juvenile Lola Bean has come over to the intro cage. She's now just walking to the feeding cage. She's hoping to get a drink. Uh, Lola Bean is a little bit too old to drink, but uh, she had some problems last year, so she is still able to fit into the feeding cage and so drinks milk like everybody else. And it's doing her good. She's getting lots of extra protein and nutrients, but now she thinks anyone that walks past the feeding cage is gonna give her some milk. Here's Uh Oh just sat on the feeding cage. Boogie's about to. <laughs> Boogie is video bombing. Hi, Boog. Victoria's about to give Boogie his last drink before he goes out. Boogie is ready and waiting. Those of you that have followed Boogie's journey may remember we never had to teach Boogie how to use the feeding cage. He worked that one out by himself uh, back when he was much younger. He had peritonitis. Um, so we had to really restrict and control what he drank and when. So um, when he finally got to use the feeding cage, he knew exactly what to do with it because he knew where the milk was. And uh, we suspect the first thing Boogie will do when he goes out into troop is to find the nearest feeding cage and have as much milk as is humanly possible, which is exciting. That's Felix playing with Pokey, and Lola Bean's just entered the shot. There's Lola Bean. <laughs> and we have Poppy, Mum Poppy there. There's Lola Bean going over to Poppy. Oh, here's a close-up of Pokey. Hello. Thank you. There's Poppy. Oh. Felix has gone over to say hello to Auntie Ricky.
Poogie, of course, not concerned about anything and uh, still entertaining himself uh, in the introduction enclosure. Felix taking a drink in the swimming pool. Felix is waiting patiently for his milk. But Helen is easy to recognize when she starts doing this. Do you want to know them? There you go. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Oh shit, but you can follow him. We got him. Because I need to take her hold. Sorry? There you go, you can do it. So Biggie, uh oh. Shelter, we also got Josh. So, at least little Biggie's run over to one of the foster moms that he knows to uh oh. Um, and hanging around with her, um, but he hasn't like given any big hugs or anything like that, still behaving like a little independent uh, naughty monster that he is at the moment, but um, at least he's out, which is the main thing, and following uh -oh around, which is also another good thing. I'm sure once he sees one of the other foster moms that he's a bit closer to, uh, maybe things will go a little bit, a little bit better for him. But uh, you'll also see in his little posture, um, the way the little tail and everything sort of stands up and how he is. He's not 100% um, brave at the moment. That is showing a little bit of uh, fear, but at least he's, he's getting on, he's getting around, and uh, he knows where his mom is and everything, and that's the important thing. Just at Gizmo um, on the boogie release. It's Wednesday and it's kind of wet. Um, it's just going up to two o'clock. Um, as I found Boogie, he was in the shelter and then uh oh left. Boogie looked a bit kind of confused about how to get down, so he panicked a little and then realised he was a monkey and didn't need steps, a ladder, or a lift. Uh, so he climbed down, ran after uh oh. Found them in another shelter, um, and they ate together a little bit. And Boogie just seems to be off exploring today by himself, um, which is cute. Oh, someone's come to say hi. Oh, this is Poppy. That's very cute. Poppy is Felix and Helen's mum. I was in the intercage with Boogie for a little bit, so a nice familiar face. Oh, good cleaning, Bugs. The Bugs is just giving her a bit of a groom. A nice hello, Auntie Poppy. He's had a drink from Feeding Cage too, which is nice. We always knew Bugger would be one to find the feeding cages quickly. Um, you'll remember we never actually had to teach him how to use the feeding cage. He got that one all by himself. Day one, minute one, all of that stuff. 
They're all very sweet. So we have Boogie from Gizmo eating. So this is Boogie and Gabriel on Boogie's third day out and he is playing with Gabriel. So Gabriel arrived as an orphan in uh, 2015. Uh, he was fostered by, um, I think it was Kexi. He has got chronic health issues. I'm not too sure probably how he was uh, brought up. But he does have a, a, a persistent cough, uh, which you can tell him by. He's also quite stocky and fluffy, and he has a little bit of a white moustache. Very brave, of course, of little Boogie. I'm um, just going up to one of the adult males and uh, grooming him and playing with him. Well, I think he got a shock, <laughs> so he's run away. And he just went over here. He does move a lot, so it's quite hard to find him. And he's just sitting in the shade over there. But this is another shot of Gabriel. He is one of the monkeys who has bronchitis in here, so we do give him meds every day to help him. And Boogie is in the background playing with the trees. And there's Boogie. So Boogie carrying on with his antics that he had in the intro cage out in the main enclosure so we hope it goes well. So we have Boogie in Gizmo Troop on his third day out and this is just Ricky sitting in front and he's just in the background there. He's very very playful and likes to play on all of the trees. Well, so far so good. It's been three days now and Boogie's still very active and playing around with everyone as long as there's light and people to pick on. Um, so he's still doing very, very well, which we're happy about. It looks like things are going very, very well with him and everybody just likes his uh, a buoyant little personality. And the monkeys are making a lot of noise, so Boogie isn't too sure what's going on. So he's just sitting with Ricky. And his foster mum, Uh oh, will be somewhere, but she likes to just take herself on a little walk and then she comes back. Ricky was born in 2017 and arrived in uh, January 2012, so was kept as a as a pet for over a year. Uh, so she was very humanised. Um, she's generally very good with the babies, but can be unpredictable and aggressive. So she can nip them and get out of hand if she doesn't uh, see what their behaviour is all, uh, all about. But she did foster Scooby, Pumpkin, Lancelot and Miller. All the monkeys at Coco lining up for their meds. We're just doing monitoring now. Toby 
There's Jacob. Good to see all the elusive ones first. Ones we don't see too often. You can see how Jacob moved out the way, because uh, KP's the current uh, alpha male. Toby, she's actually a female. There's Carla on the left. KP making sure he gets all the food first, so he's just making sure everybody keeps out of the way. Jolie, might remember her from previous seasons, many seasons ago. One of the first ones to start the YouTube was Peggy and Jolie. Long time ago. Moki down at Coco Troop. Moki named after, if anyone remembers, Fraggle Rock character in Fraggle Rock. Look at the bridge of her nose, she's got like a white mark there and that's how I identify her. So people who name pay a donation to name the monkeys and you can always email us if you want your name on the list to name the next monkey. Tapey again. Alpha male. Here's Paloma. Curious about the camera. Paloma arrived in uh, 2018, was attacked by dogs. She has got a very grumpy expression and it looks almost like Carla except larger and a wider face. Looks like there's Elise in the back. Elise, of course, a 2020 orphan. Uh, her mom was shot and they both fell out of the tree, uh, so she wasn't, fortunately wasn't really uh, injured, but she did suffer from uh, a minor head wound. And Duca? Duca, of course, another 2020 orphan, fostered by Luca. And Mystery. Mystery was born on site in 2009 um, and she was the baby of Other. There's Luca giving Dercules groom. Luca's been a very good foster mum over the years. You can tell Dercules because on his right ear he's got this kind of old injury if he turns around. Yeah, you can see just a small piece of ear at the bottom. And there's Zebedee. She's looking a bit old these days in Cocoa Troop. She's a bit slower. She must be getting on in years now. She's definitely above the age of 17. Average age in the wild is about 15 years, but they can definitely live a lot longer, as we've seen at the sanctuary, where they're well cared for and they have access to food and everything. So some of our oldies get 18 years plus. Oldest living vervet here was 33 years. She was still in an enclosure climbing trees around 30, 31. But that's not common. That's quite a rarity over the over the 30 years of the foundation's existence. So we're just checking her because she had a bit of abdominal pain. She was lying down a lot the other day, but she seems to be okay now. So I'm just going to watch that she eats well when our food arrives, which should be soon. Here's other sub, strange name we know, <laughs> but uh, 
They were nicknames initially, and then uh, it stuck because we've been calling her that for so many years that uh, we kept the name. I'm sure she doesn't mind, but it helps for our records. So she's the daughter of a female called Other. Again, a nickname. And here's the mum Other. You can see their side profile looks quite similar with their nose. But Other has some kinks in her tail. She's older, she's got some more wall wounds. Is Tara? Enjoying life in Coco Trip. And then at the back left we've got Smith, an adult male, and then we've got Ulysse there protecting Taro. Oswald right at the back right there lots of generations and Ducart on the right as well so we just found Sadie in Coco Troop Well, finally, little Boogie's out, and it was uh, very uh, interesting watching his little escapades. Uh, he held on as long as he can, but uh, finally he's out in the troop, and we'll have a little bit of a follow-up and see how him and Felix uh, are doing uh, in the next episode. But uh, it was just wonderful to see him finally get out and how much fun he's out there. But as you can see, how much trouble we can have if the monkeys are over the age of doing a proper integration with a foster mom. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, thank you everybody for supporting us. We'll see you next week. <laughs>